Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Are you ready for a little bit of yellow delight? If it's cold at your place and you want to bring in a little bit of warmth, I say sunflowers or yellow is going to be what you should reach for for that lovely delight of yellow. I love it. Actually, I'm here by request because I've had lots of requests asking for something yellow and bright. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's begin with the container and let's also bear in mind that the request has been for farmhouse, barn house, loose informal. Have I got you covered? Because I'm having a little bit of a yellow moment here at my place as well. And a friend of mine has just moved into her new house and she's got a beautiful yellow kitchen and this is going to be for her and for those of you who have also asked for yellow delight let us launch I'm using the cream container here because I'm going to use some lovely stuff that looks like this sort of like you look at it and you think to yourself oh why would you be using that but it's quite nice with the grass and with the sunflowers and I'm also going to use some pussy willow and, and it's all going to be sort of like all mixed blended seasons and I love that so let us begin okay I've got some of this here which I absolutely love and at the moment I can't remember what the name is but I will remember it in a minute but I kind of like it it's a little bit like for scythia it's actually a little bit of okay, wattly stuff I just loved it as a colorway now I'm also going to bring in my lemons because it's going into her kitchen and I love fruit in any arrangement and I think we should just bring it back into vogue so I've got two pieces of no I've got three pieces of lemons so I'm going to go one on one side one on the other just to balance myself out and the reason I'm doing that is because the lemons are visually big they're also actually heavy so just by putting them on either side it's just going to give me some balance now I've got one more piece here and that is going to be into what could be my focal but because I've got the, them evenly dispersed it could be viewed from all round also don't forget that we want something that's a little bit informal and looking like it's just been gathered and already I'm loving this look okay what else can we put ah I've got these beautiful grasses now I'm going to put the grasses in last I've got the pussy willow will I use those yes I'm going to use the pussy willow now instead of evenly dispersing that what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to put it to one side and the reason I'm doing that is because I want more of a bold state Statement. The next to go in is going to be a few pieces of the Dusty Miller and the, uh, the reason I'm using the Dusty Miller is because Dusty Miller has the most interesting yellow flower in it when it comes into full bloom in the garden and also it's got this lovely um, sort of grey tonal foliage with it now you wouldn't normally put these colors together but I'm doing that because if nature can put a yellow flower with that which isn't with it at the moment I don't see why I can't so I've got one piece over there and I'm going to bring one bit into there and the reason I'm putting that into there is because that willow might just get a bit of wobble on also when you look into the lovely bits of pussy willow at the top here that grey bit actually connects back in through to the Dusty Miller so I think to myself well why shouldn't I do it okay so I've got a taller bit there and I've got a taller bit there and I'm just sort of trying to visually just make my, my weights just a little bit sort of what more balance so there we how's that for looking so gorgeous now I've got one piece left and I've got this lemon going over the side there towards the back so I'm just going to press that down and into there and that's a bit caught up in there so I'm going to put that into there how are we looking oh I'm loving it yes this is going to be gorgeous right the next thing that I've got here are these dried off sunflowers and I really love the colorway in the center it's Sort of like rough and when you look at that visual of that and with that that little bit in the center of it and the stem of the lemons they are all sort of like connecting so we're diffusing those weights and we're just building this picture of all these different textures and forms to actually stimulate the eye also I love that little bit that 
sort of grey bit there which is connecting through and back into the dusty miller. Okay, so I've got three of these. So I'm going to bring one out to there and then I'm going to bring the other one out and over to there and I'm just gonna because it's artificial I'm just gonna bend that ever so slightly more out the front so even distance from there to there and then I'm gonna bring this one up and over and into there look at that how's that beautiful so they're sort of going off on a tangent on their own but that's okay now I've got this lovely little white bushy thing and I did like that and I've got the pussy willow over there so I just thought I might just bring that into there I love these get just went out picked and just plonked in now that one there I'm going to bring over and into that side because I just thought mm, that might be quite nice into there and then hold on I need to push that down into there a wee bit and when you see the yellowy bits on the end that connects back into the lemon oh my goodness I'm loving it right I've got these two sunflowers here I'm going to bring one and up and into there and because I'm actually deciding I want to see it from both sides when you've got two I've got one a bit taller and I've got one a bit shorter what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to bring it around to there so every angle there's something lovely to look at <gasps> gorgeous right now oh what have I got here I've got the tags on these I want to bring some grass into this because I want it to as I said I want this to be across all the seasons so taking those off and then with the grass let's just bring the grass up and into the look at that instantly so what's now happening is the eye is hitting the yellow and it's coming out over here to this lovely yellow wattly stuff and then it's wafting up through and into the grasses and I just think that what I'd like to do with those is have those all at the same height as if they were just whizzing out of the arrangement and that one can just go down and into love it love it oh gorgeous look at that so I've just taken so you don't need those grasses but I just thought you know if you've got grasses and you want to bring in some grasses because after all don't forget that this is barn house farmhouse now the next thing that I like to do with arrangements like this so this is all pretty much artificial well it is all artificial and it's looking gorgeous and lovely as it is but sometimes when I'm out about out and about if I see sunflowers which just happen to be one of my most fla favorite flowers I like to bring them pick them or get, gather them and then bring them into the arrangement. Now all of these stems will take water so don't be concerned about putting your artificials in with the water because if they're in there for a lot, no longer than a couple of you know like say a week or so or 10 days you can dry them off and then reuse them. Now the other reason I wanted to use the sunflowers is I discovered something or remember something I haven't remembered for ages. The beautiful thing about the sunflowers is they follow the sun but did you know that on cold days what they actually do is they face each other so that they can give each other vibrational warmth who knew who knew isn't that just the most amazing story I love it so anyway I'm just going to put those into there I'll put some water into here soon we'll put that one into there I'll bring that one up oopsie daisy hold on a minute now that can go down and into there like so and like in with the the artificial they all sort of like the fresh going into there just gives it a little boost of love oh it's gorgeous and I'll just have those up and into there like that how's that how's that for beautiful farmhouse loose and formal gatherings a little bit of yellow delight just to give you a little bit of a lift and a boost I love this type of designing I hope I've been able to design to solve a few of your design issues and if you have any requests don't hesitate to reach out and you can also direct message me at my Astis place on Instagram see you again another day